Plastic surgery isn't always the best option as it can leave you seriously botched like these celebrities we're going to be talking about today. So first off we have Black China. Black China has been going on a journey to get rid of her botched plastic surgery. Now according to her the filler in her face got to a point where her lips were so bad that even when she was smiling you couldn't see her teeth. Now she then got her butt filler removed, which she got illegally, by the way. Dr. David Matlock, China's plastic surgeon, said he spent eight hours removing all the silicone from her butt, telling an outlet that she's lucky she didn't suffer any severe side effects. The physical dangers of getting illegal fillers are many, he explained. You can have infections, abscesses, and sepsis patients can die from that. China also shared that she lost over 10 pounds after the silicone was removed from her butt. You know how many cc's I took out? 1,250 cc's, she said. A two liter coke bottle all in my booty. Now, the reality star assured that she's done with plastic surgery and feels good about what she sees when she looks in the mirror. I see beauty, I see wisdom, I see myself, she boasted. Next up is Lil' Kim. In April 2016, the rapper posted a photo of herself that shocked the internet. She looked unrecognizable with her very pale skin, slim nose, and long blonde hair. Dark skin Lil' Kim was perfection. I don't know who this woman is anymore, a fan tweeted. Now, Dr. Jennifer Levine, a board certified plastic surgeon, can spot the differences in her too. It's clear that there's been some skin bleaching. She's probably using chemicals, which contain very high doses of acids on her face combined with high acid creams to lighten her skin, she told Us Weekly. She added that Kim has probably had her eyes done as well. They seem elongated and completely different. Kim would have had to have surgery to remove the fat, skin, and tissue to create this new eye shape. But the biggest differences, according to Jennifer, are her jaw... But the biggest differences, according to Jennifer, are to her jawline. She could have had Botox injections under the jaw for a more chiseled look, she tells us. And in case it's not obvious, Kim probably had filler injected into her cheeks. On to Dana Delaney. Dana Delaney had a serious plastic surgery fail. Dana got Botox and it did not go to plan. In 2010, she said, seven years ago, I had never heard of Botox. A dermatologist was saying, you should try it. He injected my forehead, hit a nerve, and created a huge hematoma. The nerve has been dead ever since. It affected the muscle in my right eye, so my eye has started to droop a little bit. The experience left her weary of plastic surgery, which makes sense, and she's impressed by the women in Hollywood who shun it. I won't do it, no. My hat's off to Jamie Lee Curtis. She's so smart and she doesn't dye her hair or anything. And Meryl Streep still looks like herself, Diane Keaton too. I think the really great actresses don't worry about that kind of thing. Now it's safe to say she won't be trying Botox or any kind of plastic surgery anytime soon. Now we have Latoya Jackson. It's said that Latoya Jackson is just one nose job away from the same catastrophe suffered by her brother Michael. Now in exclusive photos, Latoya was spotted dashing out of a drugstore on October 13th, 2017. Strangely, she was wearing a hairnet, leading sources to speculate she'd undergone cosmetic work earlier in the day. Now, if you look at photos of her in the past years, her nose is shrinking. Her face evolution was then reviewed by a panel of America's top plastic surgeons, and while none have treated Latoya, they all agree that she's gone under the knife for multiple nose jobs. The outer flare of the nostrils has been severely narrowed to the point of near disappearance said Dr. Lyle back. Each surgery carries the risk of more collapse, and so we end up with very unnatural, very narrow slits. Latoya's nose appears to be ever-changing, added Dr. Anthony Yon. The one constant is that it always appears to be getting smaller. I suspect she's had several nose jobs, and if you have too many nose jobs, the nose can collapse, and it can be nearly impossible to breathe through, he added. I would strongly recommend Latoya stop with any further surgery on her nose, as another nose job could spell disaster. Then there there's Pete Burns. After leaving the music industry for good in 2002, Pete Burns began to focus heavily on altering his looks. Four times at the nose, two sets of cheekbone implants, and two out lip augmentations, he said, detailing some of his procedures. Now, he went so far that repeated operations led to infections in his face and lips, and this ultimately led to endless corrective procedures. Then, the medication he needed to take for this led him to develop blood clots in his legs, heart, and lungs. He was 
rushed to the hospital after a lip augmentation went wrong 23 years ago. Now his health issues became worse and he could have died, but he recovered through a 10 day stay that involved heavy use of blood thinners. Now though he survived, Pete's teeth were forever damaged from the thinners, so he required veneers and ultimately total reconstructive surgery. Now it's safe to say if he didn't have all these surgeries, his health wouldn't have gone as bad as it did. Now let's talk about Priscilla Presley. Priscilla Presley's spokesperson claimed that she unknowingly had industrial low grade silicone, similar to what mechanics use to grease car parts, injected into her face by a doctor who wasn't licensed to practice by a doctor who wasn't licensed to practice medicine in the U.S. Priscilla was one of the many documented victims of Dr. Daniel Serrano, the actress's rep shared in 2008. Now an investigation which uncovered his misconduct ultimately led him to imprisonment, and now even after experiencing that, she still got plastic surgery. In 2019, it was reported that Priscilla developed an obsession with plastic surgery after she was diagnosed with skin cancer. The actress started to be fixated on her scars after a surgery that removed cancerous tissue from her nose. Priscilla was already a slave to surgery, she's constantly running back to the surgeon's office asking for more work and it's destroyed her looks, said an insider. She told them the doctors to give her the works because she was so self-conscious about scarring, the source said. Moving on to Carrot Top. Scott Thompson, known professionally as Carrot Top, is an American actor and stand-up comedian. Now, the comic has gone through several plastic surgeries that have made him almost unrecognizable compared to his debut days. He has reportedly undergone Botox, lip injections, laser, chemical peels to remove his freckles, and an excessively arched brow lift. When Carrot Top re-emerged, fans immediately began to speculate about the cause of the comedian's seemingly sudden transformation. Now, he has adamantly denied the rumors, saying his chiseled jaw and toned face were the result of lifestyle changes. I just work out a lot, I've never had any plastic surgery. I can see why people would think that since I got really big for a while, but I never had any work done, he told Florida Today in 2015. I mean, if I was going to have plastic surgery, I would look better than this. My crew, my family, my friends all know I work so hard. I'll know I worked so hard, I wouldn't have had time to get work done if I wanted to. Now experts and fans though believe that he's had something done, and I mean, if you look at his face, it definitely seems like it. Now there's Heidi Montag. In 2006, Heidi Montag came to prominence after being cast in the MTV reality series The Hills. Now in 2010, she famously underwent 10 cosmetic surgeries in one day. She said in 2012, I was definitely way in over my head. I kind of wanted a few enhancements, and then it kind of got out of and then it kind of got out of hand. I wasn't really told the repercussions of what could happen emotionally and physically, and the pain I would be in. I was kind of in shock. Now she said. I would never do it again and I would never recommend it for anyone. She added, people have fewer scars from car accidents than I have on my body. Sometimes I feel like Frankenstein straight out of a sci-fi movie. Now she opened up about the complications from the surgeries in 2018, saying that she nearly lost her life in surgery. I died for a minute, she said. Now my question is, who was the doctor who approved this? Because that just sounds so dangerous. Up next is Mary Tyler Moore. Mary Tyler Moore acknowledged getting plastic surgery in her autobiography published in 1995 by saying, I decided to get a new face or at least a much younger version of the one I already had. The operation went well, but the morning I was to leave the hospital, my face resembled a bruised tomato. My eyes were slits and my entire head was swathed in bandages. I had been told what to expect, but I wasn't prepared for the apparition that squinted back at me from the mirror. I was a gargoyle. Now, Dr. Michael Nicole a plastic surgeon in Newport Beach spoke about Mary's transformation saying, she looks as if she's had a facelift and cheek rejuvenation. Part of what you are seeing is overfilling of the cheeks, which causes the lopsidedness. I think she can use a fat transfer to the eyelids to soften her overall look. Now on the other hand, Dr. Samira Beatty of Newport Beach thinks Mary's face reflects a plastic surgery disconnect. Mary Tyler Moore has had a combination of facial procedures, and overall the upper face and eyes are overdone, and the lower face is basically not done. And lastly, we have Jocelyn Wildenstein. Despite the enormous amount of speculation and reporting on the many surgical procedures that the socialite Jocelyn Wildstein has undergone over the years, she has always denied any suggestion that she's had surgery. It's said that her surgery journey started off with an eye lift and then she had a facelift. It's said that she had a brow lift, facelift, lip plumping injections, chin augmentation, fat grafting and or cheek implants, upper and lower eyelid surgery, and canthropathy 
cachexy, a procedure that elevates the eyes to give them a cat-like appearance. Now this has resulted in her being nicknamed Catwoman. I mean, she doesn't even really look like a human anymore. Jocelyn told Daily Mail TV that her cat-like eyes and high cheekbones were due to her Swiss heritage, but many people, including myself, are skeptical. There's no way that her face just changed like that randomly. She definitely had the help of surgery. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 celebrity plastic surgery fails that got seriously botched. Now, would you ever get plastic surgery after watching this? Let us know in the comments down below, and we'll see you next time.